Hey everyone, it's Bradley Bush with another algebra video for you. Today we're talking about using technology to solve quadratic equations. I think most people like this idea because it's a lot easier than doing it algebraically. So the to-do list, first we'll review what a quadratic equation is. Then we'll talk about uh, two types of technology that we can use. And we'll give you an example of solving a quadratic equation with both of those technologies. I'll also put timestamps with the different parts of the video in the video description. So if you want to skip ahead, you can. All right, definition of a quadratic equation. This is your quadratic equation. The most important part is the first term, the squared term. The first term is the quadratic term. The second term is the linear term or the that references a line because there's an x to the one power. And the third term is the constant term. So the second and the third term, it's possible that they could not be there. It's OK. You would still have a quadratic. Sometimes they are there, both, and sometimes they're just one. But the important term is the first term. A, B, and C are just constants, just real numbers. A quadratic is also called a parabola, and it's also called a second degree polynomial. And of course, you need the equation, so you got to have the equal sign. And oftentimes, the zero is on the right hand side if it's in standard form. So, solving a quadratic equation, the big picture is you're just finding zeros, or in other words, x intercepts these dudes. Where does the parabola cross the x axis? Sometimes it doesn't ever cross, and when you're solving equations like that, you get imaginary answers. Techniques for solving quadratic equations, there are quite a few of them. You can factor, you can complete the square, you can use the quadratic formula, which is a shortcut for completing the square. You can use graphing or technology, or you can use the square root property. Today, we are going to use uh, the graphing technology approach. All right, here's our problem. We want to solve this equation, this quadratic equation here. And we're going to use it using two different technologies. We're going to use Desmos.com, a free online website that's fantastic. If you haven't used it, you will be delighted. And the second option is we're going to use a TI 84 plus CE. And then the steps I use here will be the same for any TI 8X series calculator. So here we go. Let's start. All right, once we're in Desmos, we can click into this first field and we can just type out our, our equation. So 5x and a caret and 2 right arrow plus 3x minus 4. And what does it give us? Let's go over here and make this a little, put on projector mode so it's a little bit thicker. We click on this and look at there, we actually have our answers. This crosses the x-axis twice, once at negative 1.243 and once at 0 0.643. You can also find a lot of cool stuff here, like you can find the vertex and you can find the y-intercept. So Desmos is a pretty amazing tool. It's very intuitive and it's pretty quick. So you can see that I actually took the graph here from Desmos. So it looks pretty nice. Let's use our second option now. Let's use the TI-84 calculator. All right, here's our calculator. Now we'll want to graph this first. So we'll go to the graph functionality up in the top right. <clears throat> this is the space where we will be graphing. You can see it's blank. So let's add something to it. So if we go to the y equals, you can see this is where we plug in our equation. So let's type it in, 5x squared plus 3x minus 4. And we can graph now. You can see a similar looking graph here. We don't, we can't click on this window to find out the answers, but they do have some functionality that can help us. So if we do second trace, 
we can use this second option option here, the zero option. It asks us for a left bound. So really what it's asking us is how far left do you want to search? So let's just put the calculator to the left, put the cursor to the left of this left zero. And now it says give me a right bound. So we'll move it to the right. Hit enter. Now we're going to be searching between these two vertical lines. And then we hit, it says give me a guess. We can just hit enter. And there we go. We found negative 1.24. Now let's find the other one. So again, we're going to do second and then calc or the trace button. And then we do option number two, which is a zero. We found the left one. Now let's find the right one. So it says, give me a left bound. So let's get over to the left side, hit enter. Now it gives me, we need to move to the right of the zero. And it doesn't matter how far we move as long as we're fairly close. Uh, if we're too far away, uh, we might be finding a different zero than we want. So we try to keep this interval here between the two lines as, as small as we can without making it too small. And then hit enter again to just give it a guess. And there we go, 0 0.64. So now you know how to solve a quadratic equation using two different types of technology, desmos.com and a TI 8x calculator. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, give me a like, subscribe to the channel, and have a great day.